video, you guys, I'll be teaching you how to make an arrow. Okay, so like just a simple arrow. So if you go to the references, um, let me search for arrow, arrow, monster p5.js, used by cursor. So if you just search, um, let's go back to the references. So bad. Where that came from? Um, should be using some of these things. So maybe a couple of vertices. Okay. But I wasn't. I wouldn't tell you to like learn much of these things. Okay. And maybe I might do a couple of videos on how to use the webcam feature. But that's later. Later. Okay. I think the webcam feature. I might not even do it this month. I might even do it in May. This month is almost over. Let me check my unit book things. Mm -hmm. Right now, so we're still in the, we're still in the early units. But next, I'm gonna be showing you how to do um some um some interesting things. So next unit unit is variables and um, responses, but the, all the cool stuff we'll get into a bit later, okay? Right now, we're going to be coming here. Let's rename this, okay? We'll get that, okay? We're going to call this thing, um, drawing an arrow. And, um, I don't know if it's just one video. I'll have to read it too. Even if drawing an arrow is something that you really want to learn how to do, it's a shape, it's a 2D shape that, um, so the vertex function is used to define each pair of x and y coordinates for the shape, and then we're also going to be using the end shape function, it's called signal that the shape is finished, so let's draw our arrow. First things first, let's get our canvas in sliced. Okay, and then our background. I want my background to be to 245, 0, 2, 3. Right. You're getting this um, pink color. Okay. And then let's move this. I'll go to 20. But we'll probably bring it back later. At 7, we're going to be using something called the begin shape. The begin shape is, oh, is a reference that I want to show you. Begin shape. So let's do the file, let's do a state. Let's go to back in the references. I think we should open the references while we do this. And we search for begin shape. We can be a begin contour and begin shape. Begin shape is like this. It means our we're starting a shape and then we're putting different vertex points. And shape is to close. That means that the shape is finished and it's kinda gonna connect the points. We, we gotta give it the point. So right here, this is begin shape one. We're gonna do begin shape without anything in the brackets. So it's kind of like this. We're gonna be doing something a bit similar to this one, except we're gonna be doing an arrow. So you can do a bunch of things with um this kind of way. So let's come back here. Okay. So begin shape, and now let me give you a couple of vertex points to plug in. I don't think we need comments in this video. It's pretty straightforward. I don't know what my next video will be. If it's not like I make a video that I'm ready to post it, I'll just make the videos and then I'll want to post it or not. So you get our vertex point, okay? And let's move down, okay? Next is another vertex we're going to be doing. Vertex. Hmm. This vertex point is... 107, um, uh, 36.
and another vertex point. Is two hundred and fourteen, comma sixty three. So let's hit play. Let's see what happens. Nothing yet, okay? Because we have it hasn't finished, or it hasn't looked like all one is important. Two. The vertex four oh seven eleven. Vertex four twelve comma um, thirty then vertex two nineteen comma eighty two. And then a vertex, this is the last vertex, 26, um, 101. Then we're gonna do, ah, uh, then we're gonna be doing end shape. And let's look at it. And then we got our arrow. But, 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 but. I'm pretty sure that you guys would like to, um, you would like to see that there are a few problems in this thing. First of all, you probably want to fill this because I, I don't know if you like to keep it. So, obviously, if you look at the arrow, how did we make this? We just made a bunch of points. Is that it? Well, it also connected our point, right? Because remember, this is a point. This is a point. So, how many points are there? One, two, 30, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we need 7 points to make it. So it connects our points along the lines. So let's take a look at this, okay? How does it connect the point? Okay, well, let's say one point's here. Well, then this point's here. Whatever this point is, it'll eventually fill in the missing space. So closing the gap. But there's one thing you'll notice. The first and last point are not connected. Okay. To do this, we're going to add the word close as a parameter to end the shape. So, what do I mean? Well, so here's this. Right here. And here. You know how kind of the outline isn't done? So basically, it's the same thing. Okay, so function setup, we created our canvas. We did our function draw. Right? Our background. We're going to begin and begin shape. And then we put in our points. Okay, vertex two fourteen sixty three, vertex four oh seven eleven. So you know we just filled in a couple of those points, and then um so for end shape just right here, maybe do an all caps if you'd like, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do a shift close ah. Now we kind of see how the outline is fulfilled. And uh, arrow is done. Now I guess maybe you'd like to do a fill. Now, how does the fill work? Right, it's like, oh, I want to fill this thing and maybe I want to make it, I don't know, maybe I want to make it some interesting color, like maybe 9, 22, 100. It works. It'll work. Okay. Or if you like something pink, you make it pink. So it's saying, okay, fill. So connect all the points, and then whatever is left, it'll fill for that. Okay. So it's it's kind of interesting. Here we got a darkish blue and a pink background. And our arrow is done. Save it just now. I'll do another file. Save. Let's run our code, and then maybe. Let's tidy our code a bit. 
Okay. File save. File new. Plug references. Well, I don't know why they're a new thing. I'm probably gonna make some other stuff, but I probably should just.